In the past, I made several character builds, and with the latest level cap increase, I thought I'd update some of them to fit with our new level 80 and OP10 characters. I used to often tie some kind of cool name with the builds, but this time around we're gonna keep it simple. We're starting out with Krieg, and from what I can gather, there's really only one way to play Krieg to great effect at OP10, and that's by focusing on his gun-based build. As fun as melee Krieg is, he falls off in the OP levels due to melee damage not scaling with them, and him not being able to slag enemies himself while in Buzzaxe Rampage. Now I'm not saying it's impossible to run melee Krieg, but there is a big difference in effectiveness when running gun-based Krieg over melee Krieg. This now probably goes without saying, but you're not going to be using Buzzaxe Rampage at all with this build. So let's start with the Bloodlust skill tree. You're going to want level 5 blood-filled guns. This will increase your magazine size based on how many bloodlust stacks you have. This pairs well with other skills, and I'll talk about that later. You gain stacks by dealing damage once you've equipped either of the first two skills. You also want level 5 blood twitch. This makes it so when you get a kill, you get increased weapon swap speed. This makes swapping to a moxie weapon to heal, or a slag weapon to apply slag, very easy and very seamless. Slagging enemies with Krieg feels like a lot less of a chore than some of the other characters who don't have easy slagging tools. The second row of skills is pretty useless to you, so ignore those. Then you want Bloodbath at level 5, and with the Legendary Reaper class mod that I highly recommend, it goes up to level 10. You want this because Bloodbath is an incredibly powerful skill. When you get a grenade or explosive kill, it can give you an absolute ton of damage. You will easily be able to melt through mobs and bosses with it procced. Then you want level 5 Boiling Blood. This increases the time you have before your Bloodlust stacks start to decay. They can decay pretty fast, so you definitely want this in order to have a little bit of leeway. Then you want level 5 Nervous Blood. You greatly increase your reload speed when getting a kill. You're already going to have a big mag, and you'll be able to reload that mag very fast. Mainly what we wanted with this is to get down to Blood Splosion. Getting a kill makes the enemy explode with an elemental nova that matches the element they died to. If an enemy is killed by said nova, they will of course explode into a nova themselves. Any overkill damage from the nova is added to the damage of the next nova so you could possibly have tons of Novas chained together with tons of damage. These Novas also proc Bloodbath. Moving on to the next skill tree, Mania. There aren't too many points in this one because it is mainly melee based, but there's still a few useful things to pick up. Like level 5 Feed the Meat. This increases your max health and increases how long it takes for your shield to come back up. Spoiler alert! You're ideally going to be using a Flame of the Firehawk, so this pairs really well. Then a level 5 Embrace the Pain. This gives you bonus fire rate when your shield is depleted, and makes it take longer to come back up. Again, pairs well with the Flame of the Firehawk. Also, the bonus fire rate pairs well with the massive magazine you're going to have due to your Bloodlust stacks. Then finally, one point in Thrill of the Kill. This turns the overkill damage you deal into healing, with the Legendary Reaper class mod, this goes up to 6 points, so you get 100% back. Now if you don't have this class mod yet, you're going to want to move the points from other skills into this skill. You'd be taking points from the Hellborn skill tree that we're about to go over. You could probably take a couple points out of Burn Baby Burn, Fuel the Fire, or even Flame Flare. Don't take all of the points out of both Burn Baby Burn or Fuel the Fire though. You want at least a level 3 in both of them if you don't have the class mod I'm talking about. If you have a class mod that boosts either of those, then you could take 4 points out of them, because in that case you'd still likely have 6 points with 1 point invested. Now let's talk about the Hellborn skills. If you have the Legendary Reaper, you're gonna want level 5 Burn Baby Burn. This increases your burn damage and allows you to light yourself on fire, and that is very important for later. Now it is burn damage, so it is the damage over time that gets boosted, and not the base fire gun damage. The fire relics are what boosts that. Damage over time, or dots, at OP10 do basically nothing. So you're not getting the skill for that. If they're slagged, then the dot does do a little, 
it at least combats enemy healing. But again, you're basically getting this for the self-ignite chance. Then there's a level 5 fuel the fire. This one has the self-ignite stuff too, as well as bonus elemental effect chance. So you're going to be applying those elemental effects very often. Now at base, outside of slag, this isn't very useful. But you need that bonus chance to light yourself on fire because you do get bonuses while on fire from your other skills. Next up is a level 5 numb nerves. You get damage reduction while on fire. Definitely a big boost to your overall survivability. Then there's a level 5 pain is power. This increases all gun damage you deal, except for sniper rifles. And that's fine because snipers aren't really something you're going to use on Krieg anyway. This does lower your critical hit damage, but it's worth it. While you're on fire, this bonus is higher too. Then there is a level 5 elemental elation. While you have a dot on an enemy, you gain stacks of elemental elation. These stacks boost your fire rate and magazine size. These stacks don't decay while you're on fire. So you can probably tell that this skill pairs well with all your other fire rate and magazine bonuses. Real big mag, real fast fire rate, and a whole lot of pain. Then you want delusional damage. This makes it so all elemental effects can possibly light you on fire. This is good because you will of course be slagging enemies. And there are enemies that resist fire that you're going to need to use another element for. So this allows you to still get all those on fire bonuses. Then there is a level 5 flame flare. This increases the amount of time all your burn effects stay on you and it gives you the possibility of reigniting an enemy when their fire dot wears off. So anyone you attack is gonna die instantly, so they won't keep the dot on them for very long. But keep in mind, you are gonna be using a Flame of the Firehawk, and this is gonna be lighting everyone around you on fire. So there are going to be people running around and getting reignited. Then there's a level 5 Elemental Empathy. This makes some of your elemental effect damage heal you. So it's like every elemental weapon is a moxie weapon, another thing that greatly ups your survivability. The amount of elemental damage you're going to be doing in comparison to your max health is massive. So that 25% is going to heal you up quite a bit. In theory, you don't even need a moxie weapon on Krieg. But you can stack the healing effects, so if you want to run them, you definitely can. Then finally, there is Raving Retribution. This makes it so homing fireballs periodically fly out of you and attack enemies. Now this skill doesn't hurt the enemy a whole lot, but it does help you apply dots and heal. Also if it does get the killing blow, I'm pretty positive it can proc bloodbath. Then you'll have one skill point left. I put it into fire fiend as a filler. You get some gun accuracy and some more reload speed, and you do get a bigger bonus if you're on fire too, so why not? It's the best filler out of all the skills that are left. All the remaining one point only skills all suck, so you know. That's it for the skills, let's go over the gear. So I've talked about the Flame of the Firehawk a few times. While your shield is depleted, you'll be spamming elemental fire novas. So you can probably see how well this pairs with Krieg. It deals a good amount of damage, applies dots, gives you a constant source of healing if you're close to enemies, and if it gets a kill, it does proc bloodbath. However, if you go down, the Novas will stop until the shield comes back up fully and breaks again. And due to some of your skills, it will take a while to fully come back up. So don't go down. It is pretty hard to go down if enemies are close to you, so you probably won't have to worry about that. The only other downside is that sometimes it's kind of hard to see, but that's probably not going to get you killed with the Novas healing you constantly. Then of course, the Legendary Reaper class mod. This is a very powerful class mod. It basically doubles how long all of you and your team's kill skills last, giving you a lot of big duration boosts to some very good skills, like Bloodbath of course. As far as weapons go, shotguns are really great, with the vertical grip accessory of course, Heartbreaker if you want more healing, Butcher is really good about ammo so that's good for mobbing, for raw damage output for boss kills and stuff, the conference call is a good pick. Only bad thing about shotguns is you burn through ammo with them very fast on Krieg. For boss kills, you're fine, but for mobbing, you'll find yourself running out if you don't actively look for ammo. Normally, you would run an elemental relic to boost your damage, but if you wanted to, you could run an ammo relic. 
you're gonna notice the difference in damage output a bit, but you do deal so much that it's not that big of a deal for mobbing. For boss kills it is a big deal though, so I don't recommend running it over an elemental relic. For mobbing though, it's your call. Most people still go with the elemental relic for mobbing though. Now, Bloodsplosion and Flame of the Firehawk are not always going to keep Bloodbath procced 24-7, so you may find that you want something else to proc the skill on demand. The Fastball is a really good grenade to use to burst down a target quickly and proc the skill. I didn't mention this earlier, but Bloodbath also makes it so enemies killed by grenades and explosions can drop grenade ammo, and at level 10 they drop it 100% of the time. So you could, in theory, run around with a slag weapon, slag enemies, and throw fastballs at them non-stop if you wanted to. There are also plenty of guns that can proc the skill too. The Herald can, however, you have to kill the enemy with the splash of the Herald by hitting the ground next to them. Direct hits don't proc it. The Hail can also do this with its splash, but it's a lot harder to make happen frequently. The Hail is still a great assault rifle for Krieg in general though. Fast fire rate and offers healing. The Kitten is another great rifle for him too. As far as slag weapons go, there is of course the Grog Nozzle. A lot of people use it because it heals and slags. I don't think it's all that great of a slag tool though. I personally prefer something fast firing with a lot of bullets. Like the Slaga. It makes it easier to quickly slag big groups of enemies. You can also use a slag crossfire if you wanted to. This is mostly a boss thing though. A lot of raid bosses cleanse slag quickly. So this grenade is used to keep that slag on them while you hurt them. There are also a lot of things you can use to get elemental elation and bloodlust stacks quickly. For boss kills or to get you into a fight faster. The Stormfront grenade builds stacks very fast. An Infection pistol can also build stacks fast as well. You can get a low level one so the enemy doesn't die and the stacks keep building. Though I do doubt an on level one is going to kill most enemies anyway though. But hey, it depends on if you want to be safe, some enemies can be pretty weak. Also, this probably goes without saying, but the Norfleet is great. It's great on everything, so it's great on Krieg. Those are my top recommended weapons, however you can use a variety of elemental weapons on Krieg. Hellfire, Nirvana, Infinity, Leadstorm, Tattler, etc. There are tons of things that work. There are also tons of weapons with Splash that you can use to proc Bloodbath as well. Peak opener, carnage, there's tons of stuff. Feel free to experiment and use what you like. I know the Rough Rider is pretty popular with Krieg. I think the Flame of the Firehawk definitely pairs better in this specific case, but hey, that's also always an option. Now I didn't list the TDR E-Tech rockets at all. Some of you may be wondering about that. The build for that is different than this one. Some skill points are different and you do focus a lot on max ammo boosting items. Anyway, Krieg is a ton of fun and a total monster. Whether you want a character for mobbing or boss killing, he's a great fit. Really fun dialogue too. Sucks that his action skill isn't all that great in OP10, but hey, he's still fun regardless. For those of you that are older viewers, you probably noticed this video format is a lot different from my other build videos in the past. Where I hovered over the skill tree menu and talked about the skills, then I put gameplay after. I do like putting the skill or piece of gear I'm talking about on screen along with gameplay. I feel like it's more enjoyable to watch. Let me know what you guys think about this format. If you like it, it'll probably be how I do build videos in Borderlands 3 as well. And yes, I'm of course going to cover Borderlands 3. It's going to be a very big focus on my channel. Anyway, that's pretty much it guys. I want to thank you all for watching. I very much appreciate it, and I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.